Hi everybody, so let's tackle this problem here. We've got a consumer price index in 1980 of 86.3 and a consumer price index of in, in 2020 of 260.5. And we're asked to figure out if a house cost $45,000 in 1980 and if it kept up with consumer price index, um, what would it be by 2020? Bear in mind, houses usually often rise more than the consumer price index, unfortunately, um, if you don't already own one. Fortunately, if you do already own one. So anyway, um, I've made up some easier numbers for you just to see if you can figure this one out on your own. Um, so I'm just going to put these uh, messy numbers aside that are confusing us. And we're going to pretend that in 1980, the consumer price index was just 100. And by 2020, it was 300. Okay. So let me ask you this. So that means you you know your 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 typical basket of groceries, let's say, cost a hundred dollars in nineteen eighty, but by twenty twenty, you needed three hundred dollars to buy that basket of groceries, for example, right? So if if the house prices were kept up at the same rate, and a house in nineteen eighty cost a hundred thousand dollars. What should it cost by 2020 if it kept up at the same rate? What do you think? Take a guess. Well, how about 300,000? Is that what you thought? Right? 300,000. Because look, it's it's three times. It's the, the Things are three times as expensive from 1980 to 2020, right? Three times. How did you get three? From where, how'd you go from 100 to 300? Well, he said, oh, well, 100 times 3 is 300. But watch this. 300 over 100 is 3, isn't it? That's another way. Let's apply division here, people, okay? 300 over 100 is 3, right? So let's give me this example. And K, by the way, if you ever see this in real life, K means 1,000. It's like kilo, okay? It's, it's like a metric uh, word for 1,000. So if you say 200 K, you mean 200,000. So let me ask you this. 1980, let's say a house cost $200,000. What should it cost by 2020? By 2020? Well, three times as much, right? So by 2020, it should cost six hundred k, 600000 okay? So now, do this one. If a house cost $45,000 in 1980, what should it cost by 2020? And the consumer, consumer price index went from 100 to 300. So what should it be? Did you figure it out? Should be $135,000 or 135 k right? Because we go three times 45 to get 135. So really our formula is we take our 45,000 and we multiply by this number over what this number, right? And that gives us our, our price increase based on consumer price index. So back, back to the messy numbers. Can you do it now? Same thing, different numbers, right? Same same formula though, so same process, right? So I'll go. I'll walk through this step by step. I'm going to start out just for fun. I'm going to go 260. Oop, turn on the calculator, maybe. 260.5 over 86.3. Oh my gosh, it's almost three. Same thing. Sheesh. 3.018. So 260.5 over. 86.3 is about, I'm going to say, 3.02, you know? Ah, sure, I'll give it three decimal points just to be sure. 3.019, right? Okay, and so now I can just take that and times it by 45,000 to get my um, new house price. Or to be, to be, uh, smarter I've already got this in the calculator now I'm going to press multiply and it'll say answer times whatever see it say answer times star in a calculator means times right answer times and then I just put in 45,000 see that and then I press enter 135,834 and round to the nearest thousand the question said round to the nearest thousand didn't it 
So we're going to round that to 136,000. Okay. Um, so anyway, the formula is you take your 45,000, you multiply by this number over this number. Right, and that makes sense, doesn't it? 